Yes, and hello once again. I'm Max Rat, and welcome to the Max Rat Deconstruction Zone. Well, it's been uh, it's been it's been a long time. It's probably one of my longest uh, times in between uh, shows. I've been working on this uh, um, Affordable uh, Care Act, uh, Obamacare, whatever you want to call it, show for. Since my last show, which was the end of November, um, on the uh, on the JFK assassination, and and I, uh, it was uh, it was over the holidays, and maybe I, I don't, I really didn't feel like I was goofing off that much because I was really was trying to um, to educate myself and assemble all the information I could for this show. But fact of the matter is, it's uh, it's been two months. It's uh, January 29th, two thousand fourteen. It's my first show of two thousand fourteen, and uh. It's uh, well, I'm gonna call the show uh, Barackafella Care, and uh, <laughs> we're just gonna uh, leave it at that, and you'll see what I mean throughout the show. Welcome aboard the Max Rat Deconstruction Zone. I'm Max Rat. Thanks for coming aboard. Thanks for uh, checking out my show. And uh, on this show, it, well, it's gonna be a two-parter. It, it was I, I did take a lot of time uh, putting it together, and there's a uh, loads of information that I want to uh, share with you and uh, lay out for you like I usually do on the Deconstruction Zone. So uh, why don't I just get it going? And uh, this is part one of Barackafella Care on the Max Rat Deconstruction Zone. Thanks for coming aboard. Oh, guy, it's good you're here. I am so excited. Guess what? Uh, I hope this isn't about your podcast again. Why? Did you finally listen to it? Most people want to belong to their peer group. They want to be the same as everyone else when it comes to opinions. In fact, they judge their own personal sanity by bouncing ideas off their, their neighbors and friends who will answer back and agree on these same topics in kind. It doesn't matter if the topics or, the, or what you're given are facts or, or utter nonsense. As long as everyone agrees at the same time, you'll say, well, I'm sane. And your friends will all agree because they've had the same information given to them. Is that a normal number? High, low, is that a good number? Normal? You're very concerned about normal, aren't you? Kind of cute. Yeah, kind of cute. You, you look like a very happy couple. Um, are you? Yeah. Yeah, so, so how, how, how do you account for it? Uh, I'm very shallow and empty, and I have no ideas and nothing interesting to say. And I'm exactly the same way. <laughs> well, what about Max? What does Max think? I brought him here to talk some sense into you because you're acting like a jackass. The point of this whole thing is to keep getting smarter, to, to keep growing, to use as much of your brain as possible. For example, I use 48% of my brain. Do you know how much you use? 47? <laughs> three. I'm sorry? Three. I use 3% of my brain? Yes, don't worry about it. Everybody on Earth uses 3% of their brain. 3 to 5%. That's why they're there. Three? Three percent? Three percent? You mean nobody on Earth uses more than that? When you use more than five percent of your brain, you don't want to be on Earth, believe me. Now, being from Earth as you are and using as little of your brain as you do, your life has pretty much been devoted to dealing with fear. It has? Well, everybody on Earth deals with fear. That's what little brains do. We're here to come up with the next phony baloney crisis to put Americans back where they belong in dark rooms glued to their televisions too terrified to skip the commercials. The most scary words in the world are, the doctor will see you now, go down the hall and turn to the right. When somebody tells you to go down the hall and turn to the right, you know you're really in trouble. Yeah, that was a uh, Charlie Rose, uh, Charlie Rose, Charlie Brown special uh, about about um, there was it was I, I use a several that clip. I think I use that clip itself in my cancer show. Uh, there, you're being manipulated through fear. Everything's about keeping you scared and keeping you f fearful while uh, you're being manipulated. And uh, yeah, more or less, if that's the case. Keep it going. The main element here that we have to deal with is the fact that fear is what's driving a lot of people, okay? Yes! Every year, tens of thousands of Americans died because they didn't have health care. Okay, they're telling you that uh, tens of thousands of people a year died. That's what Obama said, uh, if you, because they didn't have health care. 
Uh, I will tell you that uh, the healthcare system is what kills most of these people. I think it's totally the other way around. But uh, let's let's uh, let's go over the uh, evidence in the case, and we'll uh, go from there. I've got to learn not to beat around the bush. By dying, I meant no matter what we do, very very soon she is going to be dead. Yes, the fear of death is a very uh, deep uh, human emotion, and uh, and and the media manipulators and and the and the governmental manipulators and the and the fascist uh, corporate oligarch manipulators use it over and over and constantly keep you fearful, uh, keep you scared, and then just, and, and and that's how that's how totalitarian. Uh, 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 systems work, and that's what's going on here, folks. You mean to tell me you worked a 12 hour shift and you saw only one patient? It was unusually time consuming. <sighs> what was the outcome? He died. Fear anesthetizes us, it coerces us, making us believe that we can do little on our own to prevent or treat disease, and forces whole nations to kneel at the altars of the drug industry. Keeping them scared, keep them scared. That's how it goes. She was alive because she listened to her father and lived her life in routine and darkness and terror. So she was happy. Yeah, they've got it. Everybody out there's got rabbititis. Nowhere is fear peddled more shamelessly than in the fields of medicine. We're running out of time. Everything is collapsing. You're being irrational and counterproductive. The ideas, the thoughts, and the opinions of the masses are being manipulated through fear. <laughs> Keep it going. Uh, Mr. Burns, I did little blood work earlier today, and I'm afraid I've got a bit of hard news. Spit it out, Doctor. I haven't got all day. And you certainly don't. You see, I'm afraid you're dying. <laughs> dying? Yes, it's a number of factors, really. Whooping cough, hectic fever, cancromotis, Wellington's ooze, the Lambeth Plague, and skull collapse. How long do I have? Five, six weeks tops. You're all gonna die. And we need the, uh, we need, but uh, here comes uh, our saviors, uh, and they're, they're coming. Uh, and I'm going to show them all. I'll show you who the saviors are going to be are, are presenting themselves as the saviors. It's just, it's just insane to believe that these people, any of these people, care a goddamn bit about you or your family or anybody. But let's just keep it going. Fear keeps us alive, Eep. Never not be afraid. And what I'm trying to do by showing you from all these clips from all these different um, uh, pop culture TV shows and stuff is that that's, I, I, I believe that that's what people are watching, the people are watching these shows. And I'm trying to show you that it's in everything, that's all, you're always being manipulated. TV is for manipulation, okay? So, and you're being planted, these thoughts and, 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 and these fears in your head from Charlie Brown, from The Simpsons, from, uh, from all the top uh, movies in Hollywood, it's all it's all there and uh, and 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 that's how you're being and that's how you're being programmed and that's why they call them television programs let's keep it going fear is how they've been able to work this con throughout the years in my line of work you got to keep repeating things over and over and over again for the truth to sink in and uh and and then you got um Senator Jay Rockefeller, and then here's gonna I'm gonna start uh, uh, linking the whole, the entire Rockefeller system and foundation and Ro and Rockefeller University and the Rockefeller family is deeply connected on this thing. And again, um, if people think, especially uh, the you know you would think the you know you would think maybe the wealthier uh, people might associate themselves well you know I'm a, I'm a rich big shot too so I you know I, I like the way Rockefeller run th runs things but for the for the uh, less fortunate or or the not r filthy rich um, people of this country which is pretty much all of us okay <laughs> um because uh, because uh, none of us are in the uh, Rockefellers okay or anywhere close to that unfortunately um, but uh so, so Jay Rockefeller, Senator Jay Rockefeller, he's a Democrat, which is whatever you want to. Again, um, t t for for people to think that that um, they're that he's going to help the little guy, or he's going to help uh, 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 minorities, or or black people, or Spanish people, or anybody, okay, like that. You guys have got to be kidding me, okay? That they are the furthest thing from doing any type of help for anybody except killing people. 
by the millions okay i mean that's that's the reputation that's what they what what uh what what the evidence beyond proves outright okay so um and and, and, he, and he's going to brag about how he uh, he he wrote the bill and and all these other things this is him telling you about how um it's easy to scare people with tv ads and you can you can really sour people on multiple television ads it's, it's not that hard to do scare people sour people no, yeah, it's easy to scare people and sour people with TV ads. Isn't that nice? Uh, that was Jay Rockefeller um, in, in the in the in a um, when when he was on the uh, panel uh, discussing things with Kathleen Sebelius, who I'm going to link to her, um, and she's she's linked to the Rockefellers too. And and we're going to keep as I play a clip for or two from her. I'm going to read you something about Kathleen Sebelius' son who married uh, recently um, Lisa Rockefeller. Isn't that interesting? In my line of work, you got to keep repeating things over and over and over again for the truth to sink in. Yeah, you, you, you got to be very scared. Be very scared. That's you know, uh, got to repeat it over and over and over again. So you'll be scared and, and you'll live in fear of everything. To have a whole nation that is totally dependent on the advertising industry and the drug industry to gauge our health is erroneous. We can't continue to go down this brainwashed route and expect to come out at the end healthy right and the drug industry is is are the ones uh advertising for their drug for the drugs on tv and people like yes your doctor if you need a uh, bilify or or or, or Zan, zantac or whatever or, or or xanax or whatever whatever other psycho drugs they're, they're all it's it's insane okay it's insane that people would take anything from anybody who's um advertising drugs on tv i mean what, you know that you, if you don't think there's a there's a conflict of interest there i don't I, it's just ridiculous okay keep it going i'm not brainwashed no of course not animals napoleon has arranged to have this television here for your enjoyment and relaxation this my friends is animalism in practice but it is also animalism for us pigs to have the milk and apples oh yes and uh that's a clip from uh, animal farm a george orwell book and uh done in a movie in an animated movie and uh yeah so the um the pigs are uh the pig the head pig napoleon he's who's a dictator obviously gives a totalitarian gives uh gives the gives the other animals a big tv set and they're like oh thanks and then that that shuts and then and he's like yeah well, you get the tv we'll give you we get the uh, milk and apples which is the um the uh the the treats of the or the treasures if you will millions of dollars are spent to advertise health products vitamin pills nerve pills and all kinds of pills and other medicines for all kinds of aches and pains you see sometimes the advertising can be deceptive yes yeah, sometimes brainwashed that was the word you used but i'll tell you what they don't want they don't want a population of citizens capable of critical thinking they don't want well-informed well-educated people capable of critical thinking they're not interested in that that doesn't help them that's against their interest that's right you know something? They don't want people who are smart enough to sit around the kitchen table to figure out how badly they're getting fucked by a system that threw them overboard 30 fucking years ago. They don't want that. You know what they want? They want obedient workers. Obedient workers. People who are just smart enough to run the machines and do the paperwork and just dumb enough to passively accept all these increasingly shittier jobs with the lower pay, the longer hours, the reduced benefits, the end of overtime, and the vanishing pension that disappears the minute you go to collect it. And now they're coming for your social security money. They want your fucking retirement money. They want it back so they can give it to their criminal friends on Wall Street. And uh, your insurance? you're more likely to live sicker and die younger without insurance. Exactly. Right, once again, uh, Kathleen Sebelius, uh, she is the um, head of the Health and Human Services uh, Office, which is a integral part of this whole health care plan. They decide, they're the ones who would decide um, because there's so much in the plan that hasn't been decided yet, and they're just like, well, the, um, the head of the Health and Human Services um, Office is going to decide that later on. Uh, now, let's just go into, so we got Kathleen Sabila, so play that clip one, one more time. You're more likely to live sicker and die younger without insurance. Exactly. 
Okay, so she's mixing a little bit of a fear monger in there. You're going to live sicker and die younger without insurance. Uh, now, let me just go into this real fast. I wish, and I just noticed. I just noticed this the other day. So you know, sometimes I I come up with something that I really I'm glad I'm putting in the show, and so I'm happy that I. Uh, well, I don't want to say that, but I'm happy that uh, it took this long to make the show because I stumbled into this just the other day. Now, uh, Lisa, okay, Lisa Rockefeller and Edward Sebelius, they call him Ned. Um, he's the son of Kathleen Sebelius. The bride, is a dis- I'm going to read this from the New York Times wedding section. The bride is a descendant of William A. Rockefeller Jr., who, with his brother John D. Rockefeller, were among the founders of the Standard Oil Company. See, that's her great-grandfather. In January, Mr. Sebelius, 28, is to join the Boston law firm Ropes and Gray as an associate. He graduated from Georgetown, from which he also received a law degree. He received a master's degree in public administration from Harvard. From public administration, oh, isn't that convenient? His mother is the Secretary of Health and Human Services. Until May, she was the governor of Kansas. This, well, okay, there you go. His father is a federal magistrate judge of the District of Kansas. He presides in Topeka. The bridegroom's maternal grandfather, John J. Gilligan, is a former governor of Ohio. The bridegroom's paternal grandfather, the late Keith Sebelius, was a congressman who represented western Kansas. Now, then I looked up Keith Sebelius, and I, I've, been, I've been to so many lookalikes when they're, these people are so inbred that um, he looks very similar to um, J. Rockefeller, for whatever that's worth. And they will tell you that J. Rockefeller or John D. Rockefeller IV who's a senator from West Virginia, um, who's, who seems to have a very chummy relationship with Kathleen Sebelius, and her, her, uh, her son married, um, it, well, they're cousins, and her son married um, uh, uh, Rockefeller, too, which is, they're, they're, they're very close to um, having the same um, uh, genetics. <laughs> well, I'm not a geneticist, and I mean, yeah, you know what, scratched that. I don't like to say things like that anyway. But the bottom line is, Jay Rockefeller looks a lot like her grandfather, um, Keith Sebelius, um, or was that her father? Anyway, you have to look it up, but it, it's just, it's just too much. So anyway, so, so the bottom line is that they, their, um, their, uh, their families are, uh, she's, she's very in close with the Rockefellers and she's the head, health, head of health and human services, which administrates this whole Obamacare bill. My point being that this is a, that's why I call the show Rockefeller Care because, um, this is a, and, and, and if you listen to my show on, uh, the United Nations, I also told you that there's very good evidence that, uh, Barack Obama is also the progeny of, um, the Rockefeller family, along with, um, Bill Clinton, and just everybody in all these high places, just uncanny, okay, how many of them there are, and how many of them have, um, interwoven, um, um, ancestries and all this different things. Let's keep it going. Kathleen Sebelius' daughter, uh, son, married a Rockefeller um, daughter. Keep it going. It's a, it's a far-reaching, quite extraordinary bill. Okay, and there's Jay Rockefeller who thinks it's a far-reaching, which is, he wanted to let us know that it's a far-reaching and extraordinary bill. Isn't that nice, okay? And here's Warren Buffett, whose partner, Charlie Munger, uh, also has a striking resemblance to the Rockefellers, and, um, and, and I'm sure connected as well. Government has a big part in our lives. I mean, 20% on average of the last, well, since World War II, almost 20% on average of GDP is run through government now. So you've got a very big government, but you are not, you are not, uh, you do not have government running businesses or, or directing the output. But, Government is a big factor. It's always going to be a big factor in our lives. We want it that way. Okay, so Warren Buffett's telling us that we want it that way. We like big government. We like government in our lives. He said we want it that way. I'm not sure which uh, which planet he's on, but uh, uh, anyway, yes. Yeah, so, so so again, it's almost like this. Um, these my global warming um, uh, shows where 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 it seems all oh, the only people who are telling you that this is such a great thing this this um this and you should you know we need to sign everybody we need to force people to sign everybody up for this for private insurance and because it's all owned privately by these people okay by the this this giant these powerful rockefeller based with with and there's all these families interwoven with them and and, and, there's, and the european royalty is involved with them too right so keith sebelius was the um was one of the founders of the um 
Uh, uh, no, uh, Lisa and Lisa Rockefeller's uh, father were, were, were amongst, were, were Lisa Rockefeller's grandfather were amongst the founders of the World Wildlife Fund, okay? And they, that is a, uh, that was um, created by Prince Bernhard of the Netherlands and um, good old Prince Philip, um, the Nazi uh, collaborator from uh, the Queen's husband. So isn't that uh, just chummy chum chum, you know? And so, so that's, that's who's bringing us this Obamacare, um, affordable health care, Nonsense, okay, and uh, and 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 people are like yeah, but you don't want healthcare, Max. I, I'm not. I don't give a shit. About, I'm, I'm not talking about that, okay. Everybody wants healthcare. This is not healthcare. This is this is eugenics care. This is like if you don't if you if you're not if you're not married up in the right way, they want to kill your ass off, okay. Certainly, if you got brown skin, they're like, well, what about Obama? He, I thought he's a Rockefeller. He's brown skin. Yeah, yeah, he's he's an exception to the rule, and they're taking full advantage of that, okay. And, and as far as I can tell. His father was uh, Nelson's son, Michael Rockefeller, and uh, and the mother was some brown-skinned woman in um in the in the Indonesia region. Maybe it was what he was in Papua New Guinea at the time. It's very possible Obama um doesn't deny that he was raised in Indonesia. Um, it's clear as clear could be. He's he's very he has he says striking resemblance to Michael Rockefeller. I've included in my last show, including this show. So uh, we're all. Uh, it's just Rockefeller everywhere on this thing, and and again, I'm not trying to pick on them. I, don't, I mean, I'm sorry, but but they they they're controlling healthcare more than they control almost any other thing, including the whole banking system and things of that sort, um, and 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 oil business, which we're which they're notoriously part of. Um, the healthcare issue is even stronger. They have stronger control over that than any of these things, and I'm going to prove that to you in this show. Keep it going. The people being at the bottom, being ruled from above. Not that the people have any voice in determining the direction of their government or the world, but they are to be told what the direction is, and they're to be told to follow it. And 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 one of the things that I that I keep speaking out about, and and I continue will continue to, is that their 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 uh, form of of doing things is to rule over you and control you and to treat you like a stupid peasant. Which which we're acting like, and uh, and this, and 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 then um and 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 just basically just um kill off the people they don't like, and 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 move towards their utopian idea of of what they think is going to happen. It's just it's just twisted, and and as evil as evil can be, and if, and 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 people people have to wake up because this is this is clear, and 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 well, let's keep it going. As the legislatures under Rockefeller's uh, leadership, he set up the American League of Municipalities, which controlled all the small towns in the United States, and the American Association of State Governments, which controlled all the state governments in the United States, including the legislatures, and he used the state legislatures to draft uh, new methods for controlling uh, doctors and hospitals. And so all hospitals and all doctors had to be licensed through state legislature, which sounded wonderful if you didn't know what was going on. <laughs> that you had to go to John D. Rockefeller to get a medical license and a hospital license. Wow. That's, that's what they're not doing. And that's the system we have today. And today we've become the sickest nation in the world and the most expensive medical care in the world, except you never get well. <laughs> which seems to work out for everybody except the patients. That was Eustace Mullins, and uh, who's a who's a researcher and uh, and uh, truth teller, and he told tells us that um, that uh, that the Rockefellers were controlling all the state legislators, all the local legis and federal and lake local. Uh, they're putting the Council on Foreign Relations controls the entire federal government. That's obvious. Um, and and they were they've been they've been controlling. So you need to go through them to get a uh, hospital license or a doctor's license. So how you so so they have full control over that. And I'm going to show you where um, the evidence is very clear that uh, that they are they're um, at the tippy top control of uh, of every single major drug company on earth. And uh, this won't end well, folks. Okay, because <laughs> this is not, and uh, this is not, this is not um, equality. This is not, this is not, um, this is not the way um, humanity is, is. Humanity needs to be free, not to be run by a bunch of murdering eugenicist criminals. Okay, that's 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 what we got here at every level. And there, 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 people are there. It's, it's explicit. Okay, this is not uh, hidden. Okay, Kathleen Sebelius' husband, uh, son, married Rockefeller. They're involved. They're involved with in 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 in, in, in politics at a very high level. Uh, Jay Rockefeller is chumming up with him. He's a senator. Uh, he wrote the uh, the the bill, and we're gonna keep going from there. 
My family have been involved in a number of enormously worthwhile philanthropies, uh, but I believe that perhaps the most significant is the Rockville University and Rockville Hospital in, in that connection. I think going back uh, even to grandfather and father, they would probably agree with that. Okay, that's David Rockefeller saying that their their his family's most significant uh, philanthropic endeavor has been to uh, has been the Rockefeller um, University Hospital, uh, and uh, so he say and he said he thinks his father and his grandfather would agree that that's their most um, their their pride and joy, and sure is because that's the way you control the entire mass of sheeple uh, out there and it's working and, and they're 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 outright controlling it and and if you think that that's going to ch- um, translate into into free health care or any health care okay it's going to be it's you know it's a, it's a way to kill your ass off it's nothing to do with health care okay whatever you and, and, and not only that but it's not free and everybody I've spoken to told me that every all the prices are going up 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 and and and, and we can get into that all day long I could do a 10-hour show when how how out, out absolutely out of control price Prices are, and it's all being run out of by a bunch of eugenicist criminals. And what do you know? Prices are out of control. You can't you can't break your leg and be and be knocked out and lose and you lose your home, okay? <laughs> all right, because it would cost you a hundred thousand dollars to get it. Um, if if you don't if you don't have some sort of a twisted um uh, Nazi control grid, um, you're not a part of that um health insurance, which isn't insurance. You just get your your leg uh you, you broke your leg, just get your leg set and you get cast. It's gonna cost you seventy five thousand dollars. That's the way it, um or or if, or, God forbid something you know you have a car accident or 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 uh, or and the disease thing I don't even want to get into because that's even more nefarious and I, and I have gotten into it and I will continue to get into it in this show. Uh, let's just keep it going from there. I'm, I'm going over the control uh, grid right now. Let's keep it going. And President Clinton and I are going to work to tap that same spirit of giving. Yeah, Bush and Clinton are, are, are right there with you to, uh, you know, look, we'll steal some of your money too, gladly. Thank you. The Nazi party partnered Rockefellers monopolized American medicine and public health by the early 1930s. We want to take care of people that are 65 and over, for example, in terms of Social Security. We couldn't have done it back in 1800, but by 1935, we had a country that could handle that. We want, we wanted Medicare. You know, Warren Buffett again. Uh, 1935 is when they uh, when they fully took over control of the uh, of the of the healthcare. Um, uh, business, and that was that was when in 1935 was when they uh, when they did the Social Security Act. We can get into that too. That's obviously another whole show. Um, Social Security is is uh, is run through again through um, through their through these foundations. <laughs> you know, it's it's it, I don't want to get into that. Let's keep it going. Uh, so the the Rockefellers um, were were in clear control of the entire healthcare industry by the early 1930s. Keep it going. Liz Fowler is a ch- our, my chief health counsel. Liz Fowler has put my team together, the health care team. Liz Fowler worked for me many years ago, since left the private sector, and then came back when she realized that, that she could be there in the creation of health care reform because she wanted to, in a certain sense, that to be her, her professional lifetime goal. She put together that, uh, the white paper last November 2008, 87-page um, document, which became the basis, the foundation, the blueprint from which almost all health care measures and all bills, both sides of the aisle, came from. She's an amazing person. She's a lawyer. She's a PhD. She's just so decent. She's always smiling. She's always working. So she's always available to help any center, any staff. And I just I thank Liz at the bottom of my heart. And in many ways, she typifies, she represents um, all the people have worked so hard uh, to make this bill such a, an accomplishment. Liz Fowler, the person who Baucus was gushing about and who was absolutely essential in bringing the Affordable Care Act to the American public. Yeah, Max Baucus, I and mean, gushing is an understatement. I mean, he is just like groveling at her, which is just embarrassing and pathetic. And let's just keep it going. She is, I'm going to hear who she is right now was not just a lobbyist for the world, uh, for America and the world's largest publicly traded health benefits company, 
but was in fact an executive for them. And if we wanted to be even more specific, she was a former vice president of WellPoint. So here we have someone in the very heart of the private insurance world coming in to write the very Affordable Care Act, which is supposed to provide all of this wonderful manna from heaven free health care to the public, except for the fact that it's going to cost the average American much much, much more to get insured under this new regime. Here it is, unmasked for us all to see, the point at which uh, the, the media has been studiously avoiding, which is that, yes, this is crony capitalism, a.k.a. fascism, a.k.a. corporatism, to its core. This is it for all the world to see. This is what it looks like, and this is exactly why healthcare costs in the United States are absolutely out of control and only getting worse yes sir and uh that's what we call barack a fella care keep it going let's remove all the party politics and set the record straight one of the most prevalent misconceptions about obamacare is that it's socialized medicine some view this as a good thing others view it as a bad thing but the debate is irrelevant because it simply isn't true socialized medicine like what they have in france provides all citizens with health care services regardless of their income bracket and pays for it through taxes that's not what Obamacare does at all. Obamacare is designed to force every single person in the U.S. to acquire health insurance from private companies, regardless of where you get it. If your employer doesn't provide it, then you must purchase it on your own. If you don't, you'll be penalized, and that penalty will be collected by the IRS. Right, so you're going to be forced to pay, to get something um, that's provided by private companies, so, and so the, so the government is picking and choosing which private companies you're going to be able to be forced to um, deal with which is the definition of fascism, if not worse, and this is all orchestrated by a bunch of murdering criminals, isn't that? And so, so if you think that's going to um, translate into health care for you, you're nuts, okay? This is the opposite of health care. It's not going to be any health care, and, and it's going to be robbery and not health, non-health care, okay? That's what you're going to get from these people, for sure. The Rockefeller Foundation really was influential in shaping the modern American medical system and what it has become, where the Obamacare uh, actually forces people to buy into the private health insurance industry, which, of course, only further inflates the rates of health care and makes it even less accessible for people. We're not taking away anybody's right to do things. We're simply forcing you to understand that you have to make the conscious decision. Yeah, we're just simply forcing you. This little man is not harmless. He's deadly. If we're talking about uh, the Obamacare and the medical plan, it's uh, privatized medicine, a giveaway to Wall Street and the large uh, medical insurance companies, the pharmaceutical companies and the nursing homes. The Rockefellers have important uh, board uh, board members on basically every major pharmaceutical company and, and insurance company in America. Interestingly enough, the Rockefellers control every uh, major drug company in the world. And now when I say control, I mean directly. They have, among the directors and officials of each of the 18 largest drug companies in the world, they have men from Chase Manhattan Bank, uh, from the Exxon uh, Oil Company, and so forth. So they're right there. The names, I have all their names in my book, Murder by Ejection. And uh, with this kind of control <coughs> and the monopoly, they have been jacking up the health costs on the American people monthly, not yearly, but monthly. And needless to say, prices are out of control. Um, I had an incident uh, last year with an asthma uh, incident, and uh, long story longer, it, it, uh, they tried to charge me $125,000 uh, for an asthma attack. Uh, uh, it's out of control. It's crazy, and, and and besides the fact that they're 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 making people worse, and uh, and I ended up worse than I than I started uh, when when I dealt with the healthcare system, and uh, and it's 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 they're, they kill people. You're you're killing our parents and our loved ones with uh, fake diseases and 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 toxic uh, treatments, and uh, this is not again. This is this is so ugly and so gets me so ang so and I'm not the angry type on the I, I try to do everything on the love side but uh this is just out of control and uh and uh and we're we're we gotta people have to wake up and see what's going on there's nothing to do with party politics nothing to do with right left or whether I believe in Demo you know in, in, in the Democrats view or the Pro Republicans view it's nonsense okay that doesn't ma matter 
Okay, this is a bunch of garbage de- forcing you to deal with private people who don't give a fuck about you and just want to rob you and kill you off because they don't. If they kill you off, they don't. They don't have to pay out for your insurance benefits that you've been paying in for. Okay, and if you don't think that that's the way it's going, you're very, very naive. Okay, because that's how it's working here. Keep it going. And of course, the fear mongers are also preying on fear of disease. And the solution that the fear mongers give us are drugs. In fact, the top, the top 10 pharmaceutical companies in this country earn more money than the other 490 top 500, the Fortune 500 companies in this country. That's how big Big Pharma really is. Yeah, and, and, and that's, that's why uh, the people who want to control us like stupid slaves are, uh, are, um, are, are so heavily involved in this, okay? And it's, it's, it's clear as clear can be. Keep it going. And I'm going to keep proving it to you. We've got plenty of show left to go. Hey, Kurt, because ain't no money in the cure. The money's in the medicine. That's how you get paid on the comeback. That's how a drug dealer makes his money on the comeback. That's all the government is, a bunch of motherfucking drug dealers on the comeback. If you go to your typical doctor today, I don't care what it is, chances are you're going to walk out of there with a prescription. That's for sure, and uh, keep going. He'll prescribe heavy dosage. The sooner she runs out, the sooner she'll be back. You don't look at Obama and say, oh, this is Obamacare and this is Obama that and Obama this. And if we could just get rid of Obama, everything would be fine. No, it's the string pullers and the shadows, the Rockefellers, uh, the Brzezinski's, the, the Kissingers, uh, the people that are members of Council on Foreign Relations. Unfortunately, though, he said Rockefellers, Brzezinski, Kissinger, and CFR, and those are all Rockefeller-based people and, 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 and entities. So uh, Brzezinski is, uh, is, a, is a total Rockefeller insider, as well as Kissinger, and as well as again, the Council on Foreign Relations, was founded by uh, the Rockefellers. So, so uh, he, he's saying that the string pullers behind the, the, the scenes are all Rockefellers, and they are. Keep it going. Philanthropy as a tool for social control. And this is a point that is so fundamental, it needs to be made again and again, and to point out that when free lunches occur, they are never really free. And this is something we all understand intuitively, and yet that thinking goes out the window for many people when they see a free government program. Oh, the government's going to provide free health care. Well, not really free, but it's, it's basically like they're providing health care to the people because they care so much think again and our government is being controlled behind the scenes for sure really this is a medical industrial complex also that's involved and that's the pharmaceutical companies the insurance companies the HMOs in combination with the government bureaucrats and, and they have absolutely no interest in creating a health care system or health care reform and I can say this about the Republicans and Democrats across the board that's more available more affordable or more quality oriented and it all comes down to money. They get their money from the pharmaceutical industry, the insurance industry, from the HMO industry, and from the banking system. And there is absolutely no interest in you or me or our families or any American. <laughs> That's for shit sure. Keep it going. Sooner or later, the people in this country are going to realize the government does not give a fuck about them. Government doesn't care about you or your children or your rights or your welfare or your safety. It simply doesn't give a fuck about you. It's interested in its own power. That's the only thing. Keeping it and expanding it wherever possible. Walmart controls 57% of all groceries. Four airlines control all flights. Um, 75% of doctors today are employees. A radical change. That that hit me uh, pretty solidly, too. And even if you want to question these numbers that she's giving out, that is, um, apparently, that's the truth, is that doctors who used to have private practices, um, now, they, uh, now they all work at hospitals or in clinics or some sort of a HMO or, or some sort of a, a, a group uh, entity that is controlled, again, from above and by the people. So, so again, and, and, the, and if you're going to be in control from above, the orders that are coming down are going to be um, get rid of this one, get rid of that one, and uh, let this one live because they got enough money to pay for it, and we'll fleece them, and then when, they, when they're out of money, we'll kill them off too. Uh, the only people that get to live 
um, uh, long lives in, with this system are, or or the only people who would who who would be encouraged to live in long life system are people who were bred into it. Okay, period, and not, not anybody else. That's how it's working. That's how it's it's obvious as obvious can be. Fascism is mega corporations taking over your government and shutting down their competition. Okay. That's what it is. The New World Order is a global fascist banking cartel takeover of the planet. We've got to give them a stake in creating the kind of uh, uh, world order that I think all of us would like to see. You graduated Harvard? Yeah, you may, listen, Harvard makes mistakes too, you know. Kissinger taught there. I think his task <laughs> will be to develop an overall strategy for America in this period when really a new world order can be created. It's a great opportunity. Yeah, and for the record, uh, David Rockefeller was also the uh, chairman emeritus of Harvard University, and, and they go back a long way. As well, all the Ivy League schools are also controlled by the Rockefeller Foundation. Keep it going. Again, this is a ridiculous system that could not have developed in any other way but through the careful machinations of an institution like the Rockefeller Foundation. Obamacare is about the ultimate control of people. If you can control people's health care or lack thereof, you can control every aspect of their life. And that's what this is about. There you go. It's a, and, and, and who likes to control people and, uh, and, and decide whether they live or die? Guess who? This system that they're trying to put in place is not for the betterment of the American population, not for improving health access or care, not for improving the wellness of the population, but for control and for survival of large hospital networks, for HMOs, horribly mangling organizations, I call it like the blender for health care. All right, by the way, those are two uh, relatively well-known doctors in the media. One guy's named Dr. Janda, and the other one's Dr. Deagle. Uh, look them up yourself. Keep going. The Rockefeller Foundation created molecular biology with the aim of human engineering and social control. Uh, and that his goal was to eliminate people in the world who he felt was unfit uh, for life. <laughs> there you go. Again, he, uh, that's, that was uh, uh, the Rockefeller Eugenics goal was to eliminate people who weren't fit for life. And uh, that's coming out of the Rockefeller Foundation and the Rockefeller uh, University Hospitals of Molecular Biology right up there on York Avenue in New York City. And, and there it was the, the 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 intention and the and the goal of their of this of these um entities were to were social engineering and and control and and, and human control uh that was dr russell blaylock he's another uh, uh highly credible uh neurosurgeon if you will funding for the health century has been provided by these partners in discovery who have joined together to mark the centennial of the National Institutes of Health and America's unique partnership of government, academia, and industry for the advancement of biomedical research. Okay, the, the partnership of government, government, academia, and business um, for, for the advancement of bio uh um bio med 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 medical uh, uh advancements or whatever the hell they said um that was that's all that's that's just the 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 partnership of uh of academia government and private business is fascism to the core and that, that is totalitarianism and that will not end well again that will not end well and these people have not do not have good intentions to say the least step by step this structure of world government based on the model of collectivism is being erected. State-run communism may not be your cup of tea, but their government works, yeah. you know, and they, they have, get things done. They okay, that was Jeff Immelt on Charlie Rose, and he was like, and he was like, state communism gets, you know, that it works. And, uh, and, um, and, and Charlie Rose was like, yeah, they do. They get things done. <laughs> like these, these psychos. And Jeff Immelt, by the way, is the CEO and head of, uh, and he was, not only was he Obama's, in Obama's cabinet as the jobs are, he's also the head of GE. And it's also a, um, a, uh, another Rockefeller based, um, giant corporation, one of the biggest corporations in the world. And they are, and he's, he's pumping, um, he's like, yeah, you know, Oh, communism is really the best way to go. Again, and that's and communism is a totalitarian uh, system as well. Keep it going. 
We have figured it out. Go back to bed, America. Your government has figured out how it all transpired. Go back to bed, America. Your government is in control again. Today, it is infinitely or under control again. easier to kill a million people than to control a million people. It is easier to kill than to control. Today, it is infinitely easier to kill a million people than to control a million people. It is easier to kill than to control. Because of the absolutely maniacal, really admirable, but maniacal Republican attack machine, including all the television. I mean, this has to be the worst thing that ever happened to America. And then I look at the bill. Admirably maniacal. That's J. Rockefeller. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to mean. Admirably. Yeah, he's, admir he's an admir admirably a man man maniac. <laughs> he's an admirable, admirable <laughs> maniac. Uh, Senator J. Rockefeller. And I said, you know, this, as you said, we're the only country that doesn't do something like this. And, and, um, and, 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 and we've done it very well. He doesn't even know what he's freaking talking about either. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we're the only country that ever did something like this. We're not even, no, we're, we're, we're not the only, no, no other country has, uh, has, uh, has fascist health care, okay? Again, whether you, whether you want to, whether you like the idea of socialized medicine or not, I think it'll, I think it ends up being a disaster. Um, but, but, but even if, if that's not the argument here because it's not socialized medicine, this is fascist medicine. You're being forced to buy private health care from private companies that are controlled by private people, namely um, the uh, Baraka Fellas. He's a Frankenstein! And they're all alike! Yeah. It's in their blood. They can't help it. All those scientists, they're all alike. They say they're working for us. But what they really want is to rule the world! <laughs> Yeah, by the way, that was the big Brzezinski earlier, and he said, he said, yeah, it's a lot easier to just kill them than control them, and controlling is being a pain in the ass already. So we should just start killing people off, and, and, uh, and, uh, and that was, uh, you know, they're like Frankensteins, these people. Like freaking Frankensteins. He's a Frankenstein, and they're all alike. <laughs> it's in their blood. They can't help it. All those scientists, they're all alike. They say they're working for us. What they really want is to rule the world! There you go. The politics, policies, and profiteering of pharmaceutical firms and those who run them is genocidal. The, the politics and the and and the and and the the procedures of those who run these these big pharma companies is genocidal. That's another guy's. We can be so. It's another doctor's opinion, uh, Doctor. Well, that's Doctor Len Horowitz, another famous uh, internet guy. Uh, uh, here's Jay Rockefeller again. Listen to this twisted uh, one again. These are all in this. These are all in the Obamacare debates or, or or hearings or whatever. And he's he's a senator. He was on the um he was on the finance committee that wrote this. And and Jay, Jay Rockefeller, John D. Rockefeller the fourth, uh, wrote this bill. Okay, and, and brags about it. And listen to how what he's he's like. He's like, he's like, you know, he's like, we've been thinking about destroying and maniacally destroying things. And he used maniacal again. The second time he used maniacally, he liked that word. He likes that word, maniacal. We can be so maniacally political uh, that uh, we just seek to destroy and forget the agony that people are going through. Yeah, we're maniacally political. We just seek to destroy and forget the agony people are going through. Like, what is that supposed to mean? That's uh, Jay Rockefeller again. And he's talking about the health care bill again. The public has no idea that hospitals they want to convert to killing centers. It'll be no different than Soylent Green. It's just an, it's so evil. Okay, and here's a little clip from Soylent Green where, uh, whoop. It's horrible. You must accept it. I say the words, but I can't believe them. Belief. The evidence is overwhelming. Right, and so Eileen Green, they start, um, they, they're killing people off, and they're, and they're, uh, takes place in New York City, and they're, um, with Charlton Heston, and, and, uh, I've seen that movie several times. There's a couple of clips in the show about from Soil and Green, but uh, so anyway, so she, she, he, they, they uncover that they're they're using the people to make they're 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 bringing shipping them to a 
they call it a disposal place. They don't have funerals anymore. And then they uh, and then they uh, they're going to use the people to eat to to make the, the soil and green crackers that they feed everybody with. So so soil and green is made from people. That was the uh, the big revelation at the end of the movie with uh, Charlton Heston. Keep it going. People get sick. They die. That's the way it goes. I'm faced with decisions like this every single day. Right, that was uh, Anne Heche in, uh, in uh, John Q. Public, where she's like, yeah, she works for the insurance company, or, or she worked for the uh, the, uh, the hospital or something. And she's like, yeah, people die, you know, what, what are you going to do about it? In short, a man comes into this hospital in perfect health, and in the space of one week, we chop out one kidney, damage another, reduce him to coma, and damn near kill him. George E. Scott in a movie called The Hospital, and that was in that was a seventies movie, early seventies, and already they were starting to uh, and, and they were starting to chop things out, kill them, uh, cut off their uh, out their kidneys, or cut out their testicles, or cut off their breasts. Or just just insane. This is this this whole medical system is is beyond broken. It's it's murderous and it's insane. Okay, and it's being run by absolute psychopaths. In short. A man comes into this hospital in perfect health, and in the space of one week, we chop out one kidney, damage another, reduce him to coma, and damn near kill him. Try not to kill all your patients at once, Dr. Green. We wouldn't want to draw suspicion. That was from uh, the show ER. Uh, Dr. <laughs> They're like, try not to kill all your patients at once. Bioethics, I would say they're actually, <laughs> uh, there are problems which need to be addressed. Uh, it's really looking at uh, ethical issues related to anything related to biomedicine. Uh, so, as I've said, uh, issues like how do you manage with scarce medical resources in the case of pandemic flu, but it also applies to organ trans for transplant. What are the principles we use to allocate that, those uh, scarce items? Uh, how do we think about prioritizing? Uh, so it's really thinking about the values that underlie decisions, how you weigh competing values, um, how do you justify them? That is, how do you give people reasons so that they ought to agree? So let's take this issue of uh, how to allocate scarce resources like organs or if we had a pandemic flu um, vaccines. Okay, so that's uh, psychopath Zeke Manuel, who's uh, Rahm Emanuel, Zeke Emanuel, who's Rahm Emanuel's brother. He's uh, being, being anointed as the um, head of the bioethical um, uh, council or whatever, you know, he, he's a guy who's decide whether you live or die or what, what care you're going to get, uh, or he's, 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 go, he's part of the, the, who's going to lay out the groundwork for those type of things. That's, it's total psycho nonsense, okay? And, uh, and here's, here's what, uh, what bioethics really means. We find the same expression coming out today with the new term for eugenics, they call it bioethics. Right, that's a new term for eugenics. Now it's called bioethics. We're like, yeah, well, you know, I don't know if you're worthy or you're worth it to give you a new heart or kidney, even though all that stuff's nonsense and psycho stuff too. But so now we're arguing over whether or not we're going to chop more things out of one person and give it to another person. It's just insane, okay? And let's keep it going. And, and, and yeah, keep it going. We find the same expression coming out today with... The new term for eugenics, they call it bioethics. And the bioethicists are saying that those people, uh, the common people, have junk genes. It's another slander on the public, you see. Meaning, you have all these weird, erroneous genes because none of you down through the generations were specifically married up for specific reasons. There is a guiding motivating, driving ideology behind these 0.0001% economic elites, the powers that shouldn't be. It is the desire to get rid of you and me and the people around us from the gene pool so that they and their progeny can survive into the future. You know, there's uh, very clear indications of that going on, and it's not, it's ugly to say the least, folks, but uh, that's what they seem to be doing. They're like, let's put our people in everywhere, and everybody else is going to, let's just try to get rid of them, okay? And that's, that's what's going on. Each of us is genetically designed to fit perfectly into our place in society, so everyone is happy. Yeah, isn't that nice? That was a clip from, uh, from uh, Brave New World. But, uh, I, you know, I want to ask people, though, I mean, do you think, like, so if you think, like, oh, well, I'm on the team that, uh, that, that gets to live, do you think that you, do you feel better about that? Or do you think that that's the way it should work in general? Or, like, and you want to tell me, well, well, uh, Max, there are too many people, you know. 
And, uh, you know, and you, you have you bought into all that nonsense and all that that murderous nonsense? Okay, have you bought into that yet? Because, first of all, you're going to be, if you watch 1984, you're going to be the one to get whacked just like um, Parsons was. Uh, he went He went before Winston. The driving, motivating ideology of these cartel families and one that has motivated them demonstrably for generations, which is to say eugenics and depopulation. And the good news is that as you make those breakthroughs, the population growth in the country goes down. These are all about saving lives. The population growth in the country goes down. The good news is the population growth in the country goes down. Good news is the population growth goes down. Isn't that cleverly worded? Yes. We are bringing I understand that. Western civilization to its knees by selling private insurance plans yes. on a website where people pick and choose. Okay, so she's uh, being a bit sarcastic there. That was Kathleen Sebelius again. Good old um, cousin Kathy uh, <laughs> Sebelius is uh, telling people that we're, we're, we're like everybody thinks we're bringing, uh, we're bringing um, uh, Western civilization to its knees because we're offering private insurance. We're not offering it. We're forcing you to take it. Okay, it's different. I think we're being run by maniacs for maniacal mean uh, ends, you know. They're talking about total world government with all major decisions being made at the top and people at the bottom being essentially fu uh, in, living in a feudalist society, just serfs uh, and uh, peasants, basically, in a high-tech feudalism. What we all need to understand is we have a political problem. We have a group of people who are governing this planet, who are using force to do it. It's also a function of the fact that our public, by and large, to be perfectly blunt but accurate, is woefully ignorant about the world. Right. So uh, we're being we're being uh, governed from the top by um, by world government criminals who want us to be peasants and serfs. And then Zbig is like, well, you know, you got to understand that the people the people are stupid. So you know, we got to we got to manage them properly for you. Meaning not for you, for, for we for us because you are you are the you or ya. Yeah, we are the ya. Yeah. Okay, and uh, that's uh, there's um. There's the big Brzezinski. He's like, yeah, the public is kind of stupid, you know. And he said, he said, I hate to say, he said, he said, he said, but I'm accurate though. That is accurate though. It's also a function of the fact that our public, by and large, to be perfectly blunt, but accurate, is woefully ignorant about the world. Yeah, you guys are woefully ignorant about what's really going on. That's for sure. And uh, when I say you guys, I mean you know I'm learning things new every day too, folks. But we, this is not going to end well because these these people are so not cool and so evil and such such lying criminals. Okay, and and it's not an inbred psychopaths and it's not going to end well. Okay, you're not going to get any health care. You're going to get robbed and you're going to get fucked over and you're going to give get, you're going to kill your parents off and and just devast and just destroy and what did what did <laughs> destroy maniacally destroy? Okay, that's that's what he in his own words and 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 just never stops with these people. Keep going. We know that the ultimate goal, the ultimate aim, is to make sure that people have basic security and the foundation for the good health that they need. Foundation for the good health, whatever that means. What a liar. Just, uh, it pert near chokes you up in your craw. The things in here that they expect you to believe. <laughs> really? Really, Chester? For we are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy. These nefarious conspiracies about government plots to kill and conspire and lie about it and cover up the real truth. I mean, this stuff is as ridiculous as it has ever been. We face a hostile ideology, global in scope, atheistic in character, ruthless in purpose and insidious in method. Yeah, that was JFK and Eisenhower once again talking about conspiracies. Rachel Maddow telling you you're all crazy and nuts. Me, you know, and then... Max, you see conspiracies and everything. 
Yeah, I mean, I'm in with JFK and Eisenhower. Wallowing in racist conspiracy theories and the insane American movement and nutty fringe subculture that nurtures those theories. Yeah, I'm wallowing in racist, I'm a wallowing racist, insane um, sub fringe subculture. And, and what is she? Uh, it's uh, some clear, clear minded um, um, truth teller? Are you kidding me? She's what she's what you call a disinformation agent, uh, you know, just spouting bullshit everywhere. Exactly. I work very, as the chairman knows, I work very, very closely with him and others on this bill in the finance committee to produce it. And um, I think it's a magnificent work. Right, and if he was Prince Charles, I'd be like, oh, it's a jolly good work. Well, well yes, and the, pe the people, the, well, this, the, the, the people should be brimming with joy and 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 and, and happiness uh, from this. Uh, it's a jolly good, it's a magnificent work. Thanks, uh, Senator Rockefeller. It's a magnificent work, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. I'm just so happy. I work very, as the chairman knows, I work very, very closely. And he worked very closely with him and others on this bill in the finance committee to produce it and um i think it's a magnificent work oh yeah he thinks it is this is a pretty grand claim to be making that the rockefellers were absolutely essential in shaping modern american medicine and uh this could be cast aside as mere conspiracy theory by those who are not so familiar with the rockefellers or their influence who created this idea that anybody believes in a conspiracy is, is uh, uh, on the French. Well, it's the conspirators. Uh, they control a great deal of the media, a great deal of publishing, uh, movies, and so they put out the idea and hammered it home repeatedly that if you believe in conspiracies, uh, you're crazy. Oh, yes, and they put it in every single bit of uh, of uh, of pop culture you can find whether it's written in a magazine or whether it's on a movie or if it's on tv and in every single show even cooking shows are going to have it in there it's, it's in everything i promise you and i and i can i find it in all these different places and i've been putting them all on the shelf so stay tuned we're going to keep going barack Rockefeller care on the max red deconstruction zone keep it going there's no profit to be made in keeping people healthy. I mean, we, we know that. It's a, it's a mathematical fact. It's an accounting fact. Shareholders know that of, of these corporations. They don't really want people to be well because the, the only person who benefits from you being well is you and, and, and perhaps maybe your family members, but the corporations lose out on a customer. I ain't going to pay this. No. This ain't a hospital no. bill. This is a stick up in here. The cost of health care has multiplied astronomically in the United States to the point where it is no longer uh, available to most American citizens. Uh, so how did they counteract this when they got us to the point where the average working man could not afford hospital care or the allopathic system of treatment? Uh, they set up an insurance industry, medical insurance. Oh, yeah, and... Uh yeah, so, and, and he said, when it got us to a point where we can't aff no longer afford it, and we're at that point now, because, like I said, uh, God forbid you have a minor uh, injury or accident, okay, not a, uh, something that's life and death, even, if you, if you have a, or, or even maybe a little bit more than minor, I know a guy who's, uh, who's, who's, unfortunately or tragically uh burned himself very badly and um and he's 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 been in the hospital for for weeks you know that's gonna the, the bill they're gonna try to charge him a million bucks okay i mean I, i'm not i'm not sure how he's, he's set up to um to have it covered i think he is covered thank god but um but uh we can't you know the, the, uh, okay so that's maybe that's a little bit more of a uh, serious ish, issue but uh if you break your leg it's going to cost you $75,000 folks if you I mean if you're in the hospital for more if you have a sub or you have a serious injury or a serious car accident where you have to be in the hospital for more than a week or two you you're in the, you're definitely into six figures and and if not more and maybe seven okay and um that's ridiculous okay so you can't have any issue at all without or even asthma attack in my case without um without being bankrupted 
Um, that's this is insane and ridiculous, and it's all because they so so now so now so now they're gonna so now they're gonna present this insurance thing. We never had nobody had insurance, uh, medical insurance when I was a kid either. Okay, we, there was no such thing really because you didn't really need to have it because you would um you would you would pay the doctor out of your pocket whatever whatever it costs in general. And and I broke bones when I was a kid. It was we 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 paid it out of our pocket. We didn't pay. Um, we didn't we didn't have a insurance coverage never. Okay, so um. And I wasn't in a poor family. I don't think that's this is not how it worked back then. But now, now that they've gotten the prices so out of control, now they bring in this stupid um, insurance thing, which is not insurance. Okay, and insurance. If you know anything about insurance, it's a risk management thing. It, do, it doesn't really. It's kind of. It's just a scam, all up and down anyway. But um, but there is no risk involved in 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 day to day um in um uh, medical care. You know, you know, it, yeah, c- catastrophic insurance. Yes, you could, you can do a risk model to um to cover things like. That. That because not everybody has a catastrophic event, but 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 now every, the minor things caught are are, are priced in, in a catastrophic event because if uh, if you need a minor um, surgery or what, well I don't even like to use the word surgery because I don't think anybody needs any surgeries frankly, but um but if you need a minor minor something okay that has to do with the medical industry you it's going to cost minors fifty thousand minus fifty thousand dollars now folks okay who has now very few people have fifty thousand dollars lying around especially just to kick out in cash or something like that or to or to go on a a um, payment plan where where banks are profiting and you charging you usurious rates you're like oh you're a bad risk or something like that it's just nonsense and garbage and then your credit card rate goes triples because you got you had a, you broke your ankle or something like that this is garbage okay and this is all criminal it's all contrived and it's all very well planned out and that's and that's what's going on here let's see it'll use this one more time the cost of health care has multiplied astronomically in the united states to the point where it is no longer uh, available to most american citizens uh so how did they counteract this when they got us to the point where the average working man could not afford hospital care or the allopathic system of treatment. Uh, they set up an insurance industry, medical insurance. The problem with health care is that it's too expensive. And the reason it's so expensive is because of government involvement in the system and because of an overutilization of insurance because of tax subsidies that force people or get people to buy insurance okay, to cover ordinary camp, medical expenses. Yes, and they offer tax credits to um, pay for your premiums, and then that, that that lures people into the system as well. Like he said, and that and that that exacerbates the price stru- um, um, escalations out just into into the stratosphere, and and that's where we're at now. So uh, here's an example. So my um, friend of mine's wife got a um, got a she had a she had a uh, splinter in her toe. Okay, and she was like, "Oh, I'm gonna go to the emergency room." He's like, "No," and he was like, "I'll take it out with the tweezers," which is what happens when we were kids. But she, of course, because she's been brainwashed by television again. Like, like I'm, I'm sorry to say this, but women, they, they seem to be um, targeting women in that category because women, women, um, and, and not only that, but they make the doctors um very sexy and charismatic, and so and and, and it just appeals to women. So women are always um, and don't get me wrong, there's plenty of guys that I know and who are just as on board with all this nonsense as women are but they do target women as I as I noticed in when when I'm watching all these um all this media stuff uh anyway so they um yeah, so my uh, my uh my my friend's wife gets a splinter in her toe uh so so she insists on going to the uh to the emergency room um the attendant at the at the emergency room goes and gets a tweezer, just like uh, you, we used to do in the old days. Pulls it out, um, charges them. Um, they, he gets a bill to his uh, insurance for five thousand dollars. I kid you not. I promise you uh, that that is a true story. Okay, and then uh, for for a, for a, for a, uh, a um a splinter in her toe, visit to the emergency room. And then, uh, then, then the his, his insurance company refuses to pay um, the the five thousand and only pays like seven hundred of it, and so he gets a bill from the insurance company for forty three hundred dollars. No, from the I'm sorry, from the uh, from the hospital for forty three hundred dollars or the balance that the insurance company refused to pay, and and, and now he's going to have to fight that. Um, how I don't know, but he said he would. But but uh, but the bottom line is that, that's a true story, and it just happened uh, a few weeks ago while I was uh, working on the show. My friend told me that story, so 
Um, and I got, and they they just, they're just, and, and they got me for $125,000. I spoke to a guy who told me the same thing happened to him with, he was, he he was, he was having a, um, a respiratory problem. He went to the hospital, the same hospital I went to, which is Beth Israel on First Avenue, Manhattan. He, they got him for over, they, 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 they asked him for over $300,000 and they put him in a coma for three weeks for an asthma attack. They put me in a coma as well. It's another whole other story, but it's psycho. Okay, um, I did not need to be put in a coma or anything. Okay, I thought I was going to be home in an hour. Um, uh, these, this is just a psycho, absolutely out of control system, and uh, and 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 people. I can't believe that people are going along with this nonsense. Okay, getting their their um, things cut out of them, and 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 and, and just every. It's just none of it makes any sense, and it's nothing to do with healthcare whatsoever. And 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 they're going to charge you five thousand dollars for a splinter, or three hundred thousand dollars for an asthma attack, or or a million dollars for something serious. Okay, um, it, any way you slice it, it's out of control to say the least. And it's all being run by a bunch of murdering criminals. Continuing on. First of all, what earthly reason is there to believe that the government of all institutions can make health care less expensive? It can refuse to pay the expenses, which is entirely different. Griffin, you're fired! Eh, see if I care. Hello, Cobra? I'd like to pay $1,300 for one month of health insurance. All right, let me get this straight. You're telling me that you have dropped me from full-time to part-time. You switch carriers. Now you're telling me that I'm not fully covered, even though I got a policy that says I am? It doesn't seem right, does it? No, it doesn't seem right. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't care about you at all, at all, at all. Claim handlers are directed to deny all claims within three days of receipt of claim. No exceptions. And uh, that was a clip from a from a, a movie called Rainmaker with Matt Damon, where they um and and they and they're talking about um insurance claims and um for healthcare, and and they and the insurance company was testifying that um claim handlers were um, instructed to deny all claims and and so and the bottom line is that that that's exactly what's happening even with this this um splinter anecdote that I just told you about is that there is that the the insurance companies don't want to pay out anything. Okay, so they're gonna, they're they're leaning towards you know, how can we get rid of these people somehow before that? Well, let's take their money and then and then, and then they're going to tell you, well, we need to get people um, on 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 in uh, in, in Rockefeller care while they're young, and so so because they're not going to have take advantage, they're going to not going to use the system as much because they they're healthy and they're young. So we got to get them paying, and, and, and like they don't have enough problems with with student loans and um, living at home and not having any jobs. Okay, <laughs> but um, but now they got to pay into um, uh, you know, an exorbitant amount into a broken ridiculous system okay that's 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 there to benefit them and, and control them okay so they're going to pay their, their controllers to control them more or to to, to, to line their pockets to, with with controlling um uh money uh, venture capital <laughs> and then um and, and this, this and this this and so and so and so and then and so the so the young people won't get won't won't be taken advantage of it. So, and then and they're going to um it's just it's just a I'm losing my train of thought here. It's just a mess. Okay, it's just a it's just a mess. And we'll keep it going. So yeah. So so the, so and 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 then and the, but they but they so then you're right. So then they're going to deny the claims. To they're going to want to deny claims. The minute that you need something, they're going. Oh, sorry, we can't do that. You know, there's a loophole here or a a rule here or a law because they wrote the bill. Okay, so they're going to put all those loopholes in there, of course. And again, you're not don't don't be don't be like oh you don't think we should get healthcare. I mean, I'm not arguing with you about that. I'm saying you're not getting any healthcare. This is a nonsensical rip off murderous system. Okay, you, you idiots. And I'm sorry. Not to try to call my listeners idiots, but 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 people just don't want get, don't don't want don't want to get it through their head. This is not what's going on here. This is not a system of of, of health care. This is ridiculous. We're looking at probably twenty thousand dollars in premiums next year. We're looking at probably twenty thousand dollars in premiums next year. Okay, and twenty thousand dollars, two thousand a month. If you have a large family, um, I could, I I I was my 
a good friend of mine um, told me he was he was just dropped from his um, healthcare right before the uh, new year when they because they cause, and uh, like like and many this is and, and I didn't really I you know I don't always believe everything they tell obviously don't believe everything they tell me on TV but but I several people told me they already dropped okay so they get dropped so they and they were paying he said he was paying one forty a week he has two kids and his wife and him four people. 140 a week, so that's uh, four times four weeks in a month, 400, 560 um, a, uh, a month, okay? And now he says it's going up to over, 11, oh, over $1,100 a month, okay? And uh, and he's like, I'm not sure, I mean, that's a lot of money to me, you know? So that's $1,100 a month or or, or more is is already um, almost 15000 you know, $14,000, um Thirteen thousand dollars a year, or twelve thousand dollars a year, but um, but at two thousand a month, you're already up to um, twenty four thousand dollars a year. So um, so uh, why people think that um, yeah, so eleven hundred is in the closer to fifteen thousand a year. But the bottom line is, so why do you know that's so twenty thousand a month a year is not you know I I, I just I got this little clip where the lady says like, we're looking at twenty thousand dollars a month in pre in a year in premiums. That's a lot of freaking money. We're looking at probably twenty thousand dollars in premiums next year, and that's if you don't. Get, that's without you kicking in your deductible. That's without having um. To, that's 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 if you're healthy. <laughs> I had a surprise come in and talk to me about this, and I want to do it in some day. All of the incentives are for less medical care because it's also to say the less care they give them, the more money they make. Okay, that was Nixon talking with his uh, his um, White House staff man uh, Ehrlichman. Okay. I think it's John Ehrlichman, and he um and he's telling me that I had Edgar Kaiser from Kaiser Permanente come in to my office, and he told me that um all their incentives are to make money and to give less care. Okay, which that was in the seventies as well, and um and that was Edgar that was from Nixon's Nixon's mouth himself, and uh, he told talking about Edgar Kaiser Kaiser Permanente. Keep it going. Give me fucking money now. We just need cash. Yeah, that's all. They just need some cash. You know, we need cash. Clinton and uh, and uh, and the Rockefellers need some more money. Fifty-seven-year-old Gail Roach says she couldn't believe what she was hearing when she was told she could have health insurance under the Affordable Care Act for seventy dollars a month. And when she realized she qualified for subsidies on top of that, her rate was cut again to an amount she calls astonishing: a dollar and eleven cent. Per month. Per month. Roach received help using the federal website from a group called Enroll America. Obviously, we don't want everybody to think that they're going to get health insurance for a dollar a month. We spoke to the group's state director, Bill English, from Philadelphia today through a FaceTime interview. He says Gail has it right. It is possible she'll only have to pay about a dollar a month for the most basic insurance plan offered. Based upon her uh, income and family size, the tax credits that are available to help assist her with the premium payment would in fact make her payment what she has told you it is, a dollar a month. But it's also important for people to realize her situation is rare. This is very unique. We have not come across anybody else who was able to purchase an insurance plan for a dollar. Um, but just from looking at the model, it is possible that other people may find uh, similar savings. So that's local coverage from uh, Pittsburgh, from WTIE in Pittsburgh. And this is representative of the way good news stories about health reform are covered, right? You see this stuff in almost human interesty reporting terms. It's being reported as a curiosity that we found locally, not as something that has any national consequences or political consequences whatsoever. I mean, is this some kind of incredible joke that people are so stupid they'll fall for this? Yeah, I believe everything everyone tells me anywhere. Yeah, and so Rachel Maddow, so they play this ridiculous um, um, news um, clip about how uh, some lady is is got her has they offered her an insurance policy for a dollar one dollar and eleven cents a month a month okay and then, and and she's like why don't they you know and she 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 presents it as it's tr as it's really like, she doesn't say what kind of garbage or what kind of lie is that like any normal person would um would 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 ask okay she's like well, you know they don't even tell us about these great i these great stories about like that's really true 
You know, like that's really true that uh, that somebody's getting anybody, okay? And then, not only that, but then they're going to try to make people irritate some people who are who are less, you know, who are going to they're going to irritate people by saying, "Oh, they're giving you know they're giving all these people, you know, these um and the, and the lady, of course, is a black lady, so like, oh, they're giving all these black people one dollar a month, you know, like 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 just to just to um. Just to grind the gears of all the uh, of all the people who are who, with 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 all their uh, their um, racist or well, not even not even about that. It's just that that people are gonna be like, oh, you know, I'm paying for uh, that's all these welfare people getting all these subsidies and everything, and that that she got it done to. That's not even true, folks. Okay, then nobody's getting nobody's getting over on this system. That's for sure. Okay, this system is to rip off everybody, and 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 then and what they'll do is they'll tell that they'll tell that she's going to pay a dollar a month, and then she's going to go to the hospital and they'll tell her she has diabetes and kill her off. Yeah. You know, we've created this kleptocracy where where we have big government with, with this incestuous relationship with big industry, big corporations, the banking industry. The interesting thing about the bill, all 2,000 pages of it, it's a gigantic blank check. Uh, there's nothing specific in it. What it does, it says these decisions will be made later by the Secretary of Health and Human Services. Uh, that's all through the document. Well, who would uh, enact a bill that's a blank check that says all these things, the design, the effects, uh, the punishment, the uh, uh, the cost, it, it's all going to be uh, determined later. Uh, so the, they design this thing so that you can manipulate it continuously once it's, it's enacted. And the, 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 all those decisions are going to be made by the head of the uh, Health and Human Services, which is Kathleen Sebelius, who's... Um, Whose son is married to a Rockefeller, and whose 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 uh, family is interwoven with them in the politics and in with 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 the Rockefeller, specifically throughout um, the generations. So uh, uh, this is this is so it's so so criminal. It's it's ridiculous. And uh, and there she's the one. They're the ones who she's the one who's going to decide um, how to change. It. She can change a bill. It's, the bill. The, the the bill is just a wide open. Like we'll make all the decisions about everything later and 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 just you'll just and the slaves will just have to do what we tell them to do these people are, are absolute experts at uh, propaganda and manipulation of, of people's uh, access to to this truth and the media uh, and they're being fed a, a, a regular diet of lies uh, through the major media shut up slave you keep your plan if you are satisfied with it. If you like the plan you have, you can keep it. If you like your plan and you like your doctor, you won't have to do a thing. You keep your plan. If you like your health plan, you'll be able to keep your health care plan. If you've got health insurance, you can keep it. If you like your health care plan, you will keep your plan. If you've got health insurance, you like your doctor, you like your plan, you can keep your doctor, you can keep your plan. If you have insurance that you like, then you will be able to keep that insurance. If you like your doctor or health care plan, you can keep it. If you like your health care plan, you can keep your health care plan. If you like your health care plan, you can keep your health care plan. If you like your private health insurance plan, you can keep your plan. If you like your health care plan, you can keep your health care plan. If you like your private health insurance plan, you can keep it. If you want to keep the health insurance you got, you can keep it. If you like the insurance plan you have now, you can keep it. Yeah, if you like your insurance plan, you will keep it. So if you like your plan, you can keep your plan. If you like your plan, keep your plan. If you like your current insurance, you will keep your current insurance. If you like your plan, you can keep your plan. If you like your plan, you can keep your plan. If you're happy with what you got, nobody's changing it. What am I, a schmuck on wheels? Sorry. There's no dental, there's no vision, there's a $1,200 deductible. If you like your current plan, you will be able to keep it. Let me repeat that. If you like your plan, you'll be able to keep it. If you like your doctor, you can keep your doctor. We will keep this promise to the American people. If you like your doctor, you will be able to keep your doctor, period. If you like your health care plan, 
You'll be able to keep your health care plan. Period. If you have or had one of these plans before the Affordable Care Act came into law, and you really liked that plan, what we said was you could keep it if it hasn't changed since the law's passed. No, 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 no. No, no, what you, what you said was you, you can keep it. You have become a master of lying and conniving. Shit, they're lying to us! That quote, if you like your doctor, you will be able to keep your doctor, unquote. This, to put it bluntly, is simply untrue. And that's why the Washington Post gave him four Pinocchios. In fact, the Washington Post, this was on October 30th, gave it four Pinocchios, which represents the highest level of untruthfulness. You really have to try to get four, you really have to try hard to get four Pinocchios. They, they all lie. Uh, they all make promises they don't intend to keep and in fact do not keep. They're all um, involved in all kinds of scams and swindles. Price Waterhouse uh, Cooper did a study and they estimate within a few years big health insurance companies are going to get an extra 220 billion dollars a year in revenue thanks to Obamacare. Surgery is very expensive. In most cases prohibitively so. You no, know, we got insurance. I mean, major medical he's covered. We've already checked with your carrier Mr. Archibald. There are no provisions in your policy for a procedure of this magnitude. Oh, no, no, no. That's a mistake. I mean, I'm not this. You're making the mistake. I'm just saying that I, he's, I'm insured. He, my son's covered. How about you, Mrs. Archibald? Do you have coverage? No. I've only been working at the supermarket a couple months, and you don't get benefits until you... Doesn't matter. We got insurance. Hmm. Okay. I can see here that you don't own your home. You have no stocks, no bonds, no investments. You have a little over $1,000 in savings. But we got insurance. That may very well be, Mr. Archibald. You're going to have to check with your carrier on that. In the meantime, I'm afraid we're going to have to treat this as a cash account. Yeah, you don't got insurance. You're not being realistic, Adams. Realistic, huh? People pay more than they can afford or stay sick, is that it? What about the Hippocratic Oath? Did you ever hear of it? I doubt it. It's called the Hippocratic Oath. More like the Hippocratic Oath. How's it go, Doc? I solemnly swear to take care of the sick, damn near dying, unless they ain't got major medical. Something like that. And they're going to connect a lot of data from different parts of the, uh, the, the government, aren't they? A big new database. Right. With the Health and Human Services Department, they're building something called the Federal Data Hub. Uh, which is when they audit your health care to find out just if what you, we need another federal <laughs> data hub. If, if, if you have the right kind of health care uh, they'll, they'll cross-check that with Social Security Department of Justice Homeland Security and and so forth it's really a huge information technology so, yeah cross it with um, you know Homeland Security Department of Justice what the what, what does that have to do with the health care again this is twisted and, and this is all about control again and their stummy running your face okay so now we're going to go into a little segment and it's going to be the final segment for this um, sec first part of the Barack Rockefeller care show uh, and we're going to talk about how the the IRS has been um, anointed to uh, be the collection arm of this of this criminal um, totalitarian fascist system and uh, where they're going to rob um, uh, the American people and kill them off at the same time. It's just sick, okay? And, and, I, I, and I hope um, I'm making it clear here. I got another second part to go. Uh, we're going to go into the, the IRS uh, part, but so, so now they're, they're making a federal data hub. Isn't that nice? Like, we don't have enough. They're not spying on us and not collecting enough data on us as it is. And uh, we got a new data hub, and this one's going to be run with the Health and Human Services Division again, run by Kathleen Sibelius again, who's um, part of the uh, Rockefeller family again.
And they're going to connect a lot of data from different parts of the, uh, the, the government, aren't they? A big new database. Right. With the Health and Human Services Department, they're building something called the Federal Data Hub, uh, which is when they audit your health care to find out... Just if what you, we need, another <laughs> Federal Data Hub. If, if, if you have the right kind of health care, uh, they'll, they'll cross-check that with Social Security, Department of Justice, Homeland Security, and, and so forth. It's really a huge information technology. So now, uh, health insurance today is simply another tax on the American people. In fact, it functions through the Social Security system as a tax on the recipients of uh, Social Security. You see how the Social Security system has been set up in order to gather information on your earnings for the Internal Revenue Service. You've been tricked, trapped. Right, so Social Security has been set up, and, and now they're going to interweave the um, the uh, the healthcare bill into Social Security and into um, into uh, the IRS um, tax system. And so it will. And, and 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 Bill Cooper is telling you that the Social Security system was really set up just to gather more info on your uh, on your in, on your income, so they can um, tax, so they can steal more of that from you. And the people who are stealing it are uh, because if you if you if you do check your take. Um, pay your taxes and then you get your rich your your refund check um you you will, or or the check that you or, or the check that you pay the taxes with you'll get that check back you'll see a stamp on the back of it and it will say um pay any federal reserve bank frb okay and that will be that's because federal reserve is a private entity is a private corporation and and so is the irs a private corporation and so the federal irs s is now um and, and that is run again by the uh the um, banking um, cabal, which again is run, is is is, is the Rockefellers and and their and their cabal and their people have of a full control over. Okay, so now they're collecting the um, you're they're robbing you, um, stealing your you know uh, printing your money, stealing your money from taxes. Now they're going to now they're going now you're going to have to pay the IRS from for more for for a rip, fraudulent and and murderous healthcare system also. Through the IRS, which is their private entity, a private corporation, incorporating the state of Delaware, you can check it yourself. There's not a federal agency, and um, and and you're going to, um, and 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 so now, isn't that just just dandy? How every all of it is going to be a, just a mega clusterfuck ripoff? Okay, isn't that great? Well, first of all, the Federal Reserve is an independent agency, and that means basically that uh, there is no other agency of government which can overrule actions that we take. Okay, so that's Alan Greenspan telling you that the Federal Reserve can do whatever the fuck they want, and the IRS is their uh, collection arm again. Um, uh, so, of, of, of the, and the IRS is there to collect uh, the um, debt, the, in, the uh, interest on the debt of the uh, of, of the, mo the money they print for free. That's all another show again. Uh, so. Where so now now not only that but the IRS is now going to have access to all your personal and private um, uh, um, medical records and they're going to share it with like you just, they just told you oh you know home health and human services and Department of Homeland Security and the Justice Department isn't so if you so so if you don't if you don't pay your your taxes you don't get no health care. Okay, or or vice versa, or whatever. It's just it's just sick. Okay, and if you don't think that they got you by the ball, that's not full control. That's like a full Nelson, um, uh, straitjacket control over you. You're kidding yourself. And you think that's that's gonna um interpret into uh into good, fine and dandy. Um, we're gonna I'm gonna live till 95. Healthcare for you. You're nuts. Okay, that's this is that's it, 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 it's clear as clear. This is just a criminal system, and it's just in your face, and 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 it doesn't seem like people are paying attention at all because everybody's arguing about it. Oh, like what they you know they tell you, Obamacare's racist, and um and uh, the Democrats and the Republican and the Republican it's a Republican's fault. That's nonsense. Okay, there's nothing. They're all on the same team. There's nothing to do with that. This has to do with robbing your ass and killing your ass, and it's it. The country's taxes must be fixed, and I know what to do with it. If you think you're paying too much now, just wait till I get through with it. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was Groucho uh, talking about, you wait till I get through with the taxes, you'll see what you're paying now. Pizza Palace, guaranteed hot in 30 minutes or it's free. This is Mary. May I take your order? Hi, uh, Mary. Yes, I'd like to order. Is this Mr. Kelly? Uh, yes. Thank you for calling again, sir. 
I share your national identification number as 610-204-9998-45-54610. Is that correct? Uh, yes. Thank you, Mr. Kelly. I see you live at 736 Montrose Corp, but you're calling from your cell phone. Are you at home? I'm just leaving work, but I'm... Oh, we can deliver to Bob's Auto Supply. That's at 175 Lincoln Avenue, yes? No, I'm on my way home. How do you know all this stuff? We just got wired into the system, sir. Oh, well, I'd like to order a couple of your double meat special pizzas. Sure thing. There'll be a new $20 charge for those, sir. What do you mean? Sir, the system shows me that your medical records indicate that you have high blood pressure and extremely high cholesterol. Luckily, we have a new agreement with your national health care provider that allows us to sell you double meat pies as long as you agree to waive all future claims of liability. There you go. Uh, listen to that one again if you like, but, uh, what, what they're, what they're implying, and that's just a skit that these people are doing, where they're, the guy's calling for a pizza, and the, um, delivery girl, who's, I mean, doesn't even look like she works, she probably doesn't even work, she's probably in a phone bank somewhere, she's gonna tell him that, you know, according to your medical records, you, um, you're, you're, you're a bad risk to get a double meat pie, so, and, and she's, and, and there's another whole type of spin on there with, you know, that meat's bad for you too, because they don't want you eating more meat eat when you get older you're gonna you know what i mean not get older you don't want to eat anymore because like that because that would be too healthy for you so or that's too good for you you'll live too long if you do that so they're gonna put you on all kinds of um uh processed garbage okay that they prefer you to eat and then and then um and so they're gonna tell you like at the pizza place oh you know you're gonna have to pay an extra charge because um because you're 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 too fat or you're uh or you're 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 eating um unhealthy foods or you so your choices you are limited and then that that's along the same lines as like and, and if you think that's a joke you're kidding yourself because um right here in my city um good old mayor bloomberg uh told us he was forcing us to um we're not allowed to um drink too much soda or whatever i don't really drink soda anyway but um but uh it doesn't matter i want to be able to drink as much soda fucking soda as i want but um this is all if you don't think this is a control grid clamping down on your ass you're kidding yourself and this is not will not end well and it's not cool at all and this is not about and people i don't i don't care any of your views this is all this is psycho okay what's going on here and it's nothing to do with healthcare and it's nothing to do with um with do, with doing you any bit of good except for turning you into a surf slave what new powers is the IRS getting under uh, the health care law? Well, a whole bunch, Paul. This is the largest social program the IRS has ever been asked to implement, and it goes all across the economy. Uh, they enforce the individual mandate to buy health insurance or else pay a tax Fine. penalty, right. uh, a mandate on businesses to provide the right kind of uh, health insurance. There's 47 major changes to tax law that the IRS will collect, and then they also have a much larger policy-making role in terms of uh, regulations. You know, what counts as a work week, who counts as a full-time worker, a seasonal worker, all kinds of things. That the source code for the Obamacare website states, quote, you have no reasonable expectation of privacy regarding any communication or data transiting or stored on this information system. At any time and for any lawful government purpose, the government may monitor, intercept, and search and seize any communication or data transiting or stored in this information system. Any communication or data transiting or stored on this information system may be disclosed or used for any lawful government purpose. Now, after the NSA revelations, lawful government purpose means we have the data, we'll use the data. Students, I would like to introduce you all to the future. Okay. Starting today... Our school will be operating entirely on IntelliLink. Now, whenever you need to see the school nurse or talk to me, your counselor, you can simply sign up using this simple integrated portal. Control, they say, was exerted with corporate-wide computer software called ProMed. The minute the chief complaint and their age was placed into that computer, that system ordered a battery of tests that was already predetermined. And this was prior to being seen by the treating physician. It, mind you, this is coming from a non-physician, somebody who never went to medical school, never did a residency, frankly has never seen or treated a patient, is telling a physician how they should be taking care of a patient and making decisions related to a patient. It has nothing to do with patient safety and patient care. It has everything to do with generating revenues. Mr. Hill, your insurance company's automated voice says you have to leave the hospital today in 85 minutes. Look at the future of medicine. Seeing patients is a waste of a doctor's time. We're trying to correct that problem. We like to think of patients as information that can be digitized. 
Then we can build computer models for surgeons to practice on that are identical with any patient. Isn't that great? These people will not hesitate to do whatever it takes to maintain their power, their control, and their wealth. They want one world totalitarian socialist government. They want only two classes of people, the rulers and the ruled. For those of you who keep hiding in the closet because you're afraid you're going to get on somebody's list, let me set you straight right now. There's only one list, and you're already on it. You see, if you're not one of them, you're one of us. And if you're one of us, you're on the list. Love that clip. It has been brought to my attention that some of you are unhappy with my plan. So what I'd like you to do is to fill this out and write down any diseases you have that you might want covered and let's see what I can do. Okay, you know what, Dwight? We can't write our diseases down for you because that's confidential. Okay, well, I didn't say to write your name down, did I? Fill it out, leave it anonymous. Or don't write any disease down at all and it won't be covered. Sound fair? Good. All right, I'll be in my office. We have a complete dossier on you. Richard Blaine, American, age 37, cannot return to his country. The reason is a little vague. We also know what you did in Paris, Mr. Blaine, and also we know why you left Paris. Don't worry, we are not going to broadcast it. Oh, my eyes really brown. He, yeah, even in, uh, in uh, Casablanca, the Nazis, okay, you're like, we have a complete dossier on you. And that's, uh, this is a Nazi system. This is a Nazi partnered Rockefeller system. It's a totalitarian system. It's a, uh, it's a it's a criminal system. It's a murderous system. Okay, Nazis uh, murdered a bunch of millions and millions of people. That's what this plan has to do for you, too. Okay? And I'm sorry, folks, but this is clear as clear can be. And it's, it's just so twisted how uh, in your face it is and so obvious it is. Keep it going. When you start seeing in the body of Obamacare that the IRS was going to be the enforcement agency for Obamacare, that should have set off some sirens and red flags. Okay? The IRS, they got an extra $10 billion for, for at least 16,000 new federal agents to enforce Obamacare. The IRS thrives on intimidation and fear, not by law. It's no different than a criminal protection racket using force to extract your money from you. You know what the fuck about taxes? You don't even pay taxes. They take tax. <laughs> you get your check, money gone. That ain't a payment, that's a jack! <laughs> exactly. They can freeze your bank accounts until you pay it. They can do a lot of things, and they have too much power. They're obviously arrogant. There's a big streak of corruption in it. But Obamacare really does open this wide up. So what we have learned over the past week, and what many suspected over the past couple of years, is that the IRS has already overstepped its bounds. Not in small ways, in very, very big ways. And as a physician, I can tell you, when you're talking about your health care, the health care of you and your family, the last entity that you want to see interposed between your doctor and your family is the Internal Revenue Service. That's for sure. Uh, keep it going. Whatever happened to the privacy of the patient-physician right. relationship, HIPAA. which right. couldn't be interfered with by anyone? There are times when even in a courtroom, when the physician is asked a question about what the patient told the physician, the physician can't answer. That's how sacrosanct that information mm -hmm. was until Obamacare. While you were in surgery, I took a look at your medical records. So a convicted felon could be a navigator and could acquire sensitive personal information from an individual unbeknownst to them. Uh, that is possible. One hundred percent of what is collected is absorbed solely by interest on the federal debt. All individual income tax revenues are gone before one nickel is spent on the services taxpayers expect from government. Right, and that's so, and so if you think, so the IRS uh, doesn't, just keeps every penny, and, and, and they're taking that money out of the system, it's, a, it's, a, it's really, really complex, but uh, for, for, the, for the reason is because they were, because they're printing the money, and, and the, the same people, the Federal Reserve are printing money, so they need to extract money from the system to, to maintain a balance, so the, so the, 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 um, the currency doesn't go wildly overinflated, and the way, and, and, and if you think that they're putting that money back into, um, to pay for bridges and fixing roads and stuff, you're nuts. Okay, that money is outright um, pocketed and 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 recycled by the Federal Reserve um, for that exact purpose. 
and uh, and and he's he and this guy just told you 100 percent of the taxes collected are are used for for paying back debt. Okay, not for which is a debt that they charge us for printing the money. So so the money can can by definition can never be paid back. Ever, because there's never enough money in circulation to pay back um, interest on top of the money that's printed. Okay, and, and I'm sorry if you can't figure that, wrap your head around that one, but the bottom line is, it's, by definition, it's impossible to pay back that debt. But we're still paying it off and picking our noses, and, and now we're going to let the IRS, a private, a private um, corporation, incorporated in the state of Delaware, collect our, our, our health care money, and give them, then we're going to give them all our um, health care, um, our health uh, uh, records, and everything, and so then they can, so, and if you don't think they can, and, and then, so if you are concerned about your health and, and about getting your proper care, which you won't anyway, but even if you good did, you can be manipulated that way too, because they're like, well, pay us this and pay us that, or, or you're not getting this and you're not getting that, or, or and then and force you to take a vaccination or whatever, which they're going to play in the second part of my show too. Um, this is just again, it's, it's just psycho clip after psycho clip after psycho clip. We're coming about in the back stretch in part one of the um, of the uh, Barack Obama care um, uh, show uh, on the Max Ratty construction show. And I'm coming down the back stretch. I've got I got a couple more clips and. Um, I'm just going to end it rel- relatively abruptly. I'm going to move on. And I'm going to tr- try to do the second show tomorrow. So keep it going. And to do this, I create an organization which is a collection agency to collect the debt that the people owe me. And in real life, this is called the Internal Revenue Service, which is also a private corporation incorporated in the state of Delaware. Didn't know that, did you folks? And the IRS agents who run Obamacare enthusiastically do not want to participate in it. A member of the National Treasury Employees Union sent a form letter for union members to send in to ask they be exempt from the exchanges. Why are your employees trying to exempt themselves from the... The National Treasury Employees Union. So they're not... So again, they, they call it national and stuff. They call it treasury. But that's a private union. It's a, for a private... Is, is, is a private... Um, well, it doesn't have to be, but but this is a... The IRS is a private corporation, okay? And, and now you can hear this guy, Werfel, who's the head of the IRS, explain to you why, he, why, why they don't... Why they want to be exempt from Obamacare or Rockefeller Care, if you will. Um, and not only that, but then he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna make it clear that he's gonna say the government of the IRS. He did not call it the government of the United States. <laughs> he said the government of the IRS. And then he calls things federal because that's, um, that's, he's refly, reply, re- referring to the Federal Reserve, which is not federal, part of the federal government. Again, they're gonna do very cleverly word it to make you think like the IRS is part of the government. It's not. Okay, this is a private corporation, and why we would let a private corporation not only print our money, but collect our taxes and income taxes, which is illegal according to the Constitution as well. And not only, and then, and then now we're going to let give him further um, power, and not only that, but then then going to give him our medical records and our personal um, finance records. And if you don't think that's going to end in this history, you're absolutely not. Okay, this is psychopath stuff. Okay, and it's right in your face. Let me keep it going on this wonderful thing. The very law that you're tasked to enforce. Well, I don't want to speak for the NTEU, but I'll offer a perspective as a federal employee myself and a federal employee at the IRS. And that is... He's a federal employee. He's going to, he, it's not federal government employee. It's not, okay? Listen. Uh, we have, right now, as employees of the government of the IRS... As employees of the Government of the IRS, okay? You see, you get that? The government of the IRS, not the government of the United States, okay? Let me play, you see, you gotta watch these guys, folks. Here we go. And that is, uh, we have right now, as employees of the government of the IRS, as employees of the government of the IRS, okay? These guys are very crafty and clever, okay? But you gotta wake up and realize that that is not the federal government. That's a, employees of the government of the IRS. Okay, which is a private, like, that's like saying you have your own company, like, well, I have a government that runs my company. My, my government's, I'm the president, you know, you're the vice president, that's the government of our company. That's what he's saying, that's, that's cleverly worded to mislead you. Affordable health care coverage. And I think- it's like, we already have affordable health care coverage. With the IRS, we could just take whatever money we want and pay for whatever, you know, we get everything free. 
The ACA was designed to provide an option or an alternative for individuals that do not. And all else being equal, I think if you're an individual who's satisfied with your health care coverage, uh, you're probably in a better position to stick with that coverage than go through the change of moving into a different environment and going through that process. So I think for a federal employee, um, I think more likely, and I would, can speak for myself, I prefer to stay with the current policy that I'm pleased with rather than uh, go through a change if I don't need to go through that change. Yeah, so he, and federal employee means federal reserve employee also. Uh, he's not a federal employee. Um, and I guarantee he doesn't get a check from the federal government. Uh, he gets a check from, he gets paid by the, um, federal reserve or by the, a private, the, his own, the, uh, the private government, so to speak, of the, of the IRS, okay? And, uh, let's keep it going. Um, coming down the back stretch. So now Congressman Cummings is like, is like calling the lady from the IRS. She's like, you're a superstar. Like, just kissing her ass. It's goddamn pathetic and disgusting and embarrassing, if you ask me. And again, this is the last few clips of this uh, first part of the uh, Bar Barackefeller Care show. Coming down the back stretch. Uh, here we go. So I, 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 th I thank you. I really do for, and you know, I was, you, 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 you shook your head a little earlier when I said the word on the street was that you know you're a superstar um, but that's what I've heard you, you don't have to shake your head again um, but it's the people like you and the people that sit behind you they give so much they give so much because you realize it's so much bigger than you what if that's supposed to be? He goes, you realize it's so much bigger than you. Yeah, you know, it's the, uh, this is the, um, the global banking cabal running this thing. That's what's bigger than, than he's like, you're a superstar. He's like, you guys are doing such a great job. Thanks. What you're doing here is criminal, and I'm going to tell the whole world about it. Is that right? Who's going to believe you? The internet? But they've been programmed. And I, I'm sad because I know that it's hard for people like the yeah, let me, you know I skipped one of my clips here. Politicians who voted for Obamacare wanted an additional exemption for themselves and their stuff after it was passed. Right, so the um, the people who voted for the the, the politicians want, and the Congress people wanted an exemption from the Obamacare also, uh, by the way. Keep it going. What you're doing here is criminal, and I'm going to tell the whole world about it. Is that right? Who's going to believe you? The Internet? But they've been programmed. And I, I'm sad because I know that it's hard for people like that to take an interest, a serious interest in world affairs, to take a serious interest in what their elected officials are doing. And they're not going to be really inclined to study uh, or discover the deception that's being used against them. And so I'm sad because I, I see all of that in a flash in my mind as being an indication of how easy it is for the masses to be manipulated. Okay, and uh, this is the end of the first part of the um, Obamacare, um, Rockefeller Care uh, show. Uh, let me just see if I can wrap, make a quick um, summarization. Um, I started with uh, that you're being manipulated through fear. Okay, your, your fear of like, oh, you'll be sick, or you're gonna die if you don't get health care. And, and then Kathleen Sebelius is like, oh, um, you know, you're gonna, you know, you, you're more likely to die young and to be sick your whole life if you don't have insurance. Okay, which is definitely not true okay and that's nonsense okay that's what but that's what she's telling you again because you're being propagandized and manipulated through fear and through through um through making you scared and these things then i will tell i told you that not only is um uh, is, is am i quite sure that um that uh, that obama is himself is a is, is is a rockefeller progeny but but kathleen sebelius's um family is married into into amongst the Rockefeller, so like so there so he, she's on there she's she's one of their apparatchiks too of course um, that we heard um, about how um, how they're controlling all of health care and 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 and, and, and then so now we're being forced to um to to be part of a private system okay which is nothing to do with with like uh like we like we like people compare it to is oh and can't even, even though I don't want to 
go into Canada and uh, and, and England because they they have psycho systems over there anyway. But there but there are um there are a few um countries in Europe where, where including France and, and even I believe in in in, in some of the scan in in the North Nordic um, countries they have a uh, socialized medicine where they pay it out of their taxes. But that's not what's going on here anyway. So so, so why so it's not it's not relevant okay because we're not being we're being forced to buy from criminals that they get hand-picked, cherry-picked by a criminal government that's being run behind the scenes by criminal murderers, <laughs> okay? So uh, so um, then, then we're going to have the IRS collect all the, um, all the mon- funds, which is just absolutely insane. Uh, that's a little bit of the, uh, that's the wrap of the first half of this show. Thanks for coming aboard. I'm going to play a few uh, clips on the way out. Um, I'm going to sign off with you now. I'm Max Rat. Uh... Thanks for coming aboard. This is a Barackefella Part 1. Barackefella Care Part 1. Over and out. Rest assured, this train wreck is just getting started. When people come to terms with something like this, they tend to ask the same thing. What can we do? You really want to know? Disobey. That's the only nonviolent solution. Politicians aren't going to help you guys. I know you'd prefer an answer that puts the responsibility onto someone else. That wouldn't be honest. Until people fully come to terms with the fact that this so-called government is run by criminals and that we have no moral obligation to obey criminals, then nothing's going to improve. It's as simple as that. If you want money, you earn it honestly. You don't cheat. And you kids remember that. Always. Yes, Papa. I don't come back, you tell Mother I love her. Your mother's dead, Llewellyn. Well, then I'll tell her myself. And you can always follow me on Twitter. Batmobile over and out.